Sumo includes a variety of analysis modes fit for most structural engineering projects. There are four static and three dynamic modes. The static modes are linear. This is by far the simplest analysis that you can perform. A linear stress strain relationship is assumed. We recommend that you always start here, no matter how complex the model. Second order. With this method, we run successive linear analyses until the convergence criteria is met. This is typically used when you want to investigate the effects of lateral loads on a building. Nonlinear. This is an iterative analysis method where the loads are divided into steps and applied incrementally. This is useful for models where large deformations are expected. Buckling. The eigenvalue buckling analysis, also known as linear bifurcation, is used to determine the stability of a model subject to a set of loads. Sumo calculates the buckling factor that gives the engineer an estimate of the loads compared to the capacity of the structure. Next are the dynamic analysis modes. The modal analysis is used to determine the dynamic characteristics of a model, such as the natural frequencies and mode shapes. This is the first step in any dynamic analysis. The response spectrum analysis in SUMO is used to evaluate a model subject to seismic loads. Use one of the code response spectra or define your own. The harmonic analysis is appropriate when a model is subject to a harmonic input force such as a rotating machine. With this mode you can make sure that your structure does not resonate when the machine is operating. With the analysis complete, the results are displayed on the structure. Detailed numerical values are presented in the grid view. First is the info that describes the input model, things like the nodes, beam elements, materials and supports. Then there is the results section. Here we can see the analysis output in a logical order. It starts with the nodal deflections, beam and then shell results. The way that these results are presented is very useful and it can be sent to Microsoft Excel with the click of a button. It is easy to then perform design calculations using your own spreadsheet or VBA modules. Finally, we can draw charts for beam results in SUMO. This is useful when you're looking for the maximum and minimum results in a beam. You simply select all combinations and choose to draw an envelope.